Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, please subscribe and please uh, hit the like button if you do. If not, it's just a joy to have you come and visit. So thank you very much. Uh, former First Lady Melania Trump hailed her husband's bid to run for the President office in 2024, suggesting that his return to the White House would lead to a success and prosperity. Donald Trump, the twice impeached former president who tried to overturn the results of the 2020 election, launched his campaign to try to return to the White House for a second time. Well, I wish he had of. His team filed his paperwork with the Federal Election Commission, establishing his candidacy to run for the office. America's comeback starts right now, he said in a speech. I support my husband's decision to run for president of this wonderful nation, Ms. Trump told far-right Britbart's news after her husband's announcement. She added, his achievements during his administration had a great effect on all of us, and he can lead us toward success and prosperity again. He's got to undo all the harm that Biden's done. He's got his hands full. I await the day when my husband returns to lead an America that is char characterized by peace, love, and security, she said. The former president admitted that his wife had a difficult time in the White House during his tenure. It hasn't been a joyride for our great first lady. It hasn't been a joyride, he said, as he invited her to stand up and take applause from the crowd at Mar-a-Lago. He added, I go home and she says you look angry and upset. And I say, just leave me alone. It hasn't been the easiest thing, but she has been a great first lady and people love her. She's a beautiful, beautiful lady. Beautiful lady. Yep, yeah, beautiful. The Brittany Grenar saga had hit another critical point. Uh, in an update to the situation, Reuters reported Thursday that the U.S. basketball star will enter a penal colony. Humemera Pamuk of Reuters reported that Griner had moved to a penal colony in Mordova. My goodness, basketball player star. Pamuk wrote in a tweet, U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner has been taken to female uh, Peno Colony IK2 and Yvas, Y-A-V-A-S, Yvas, about 500 kilometers southeast of Moscow in the Russian re region of Moradova, Mordovia. The update comes from silence on Griner's status for the last few weeks. The report read, Russian authorities have given no information on her whereabouts for nearly two weeks, it later read. The colony is in Mordova, the same region where another American, Paul Whelan, is serving a 16-year sentence in a different penal settlement after being convicted of espionage charges he denies. A meeting was held between the U.S. and the Russia on Monday. Uh, President Vladimir Putin uh, met with a CIA intelligent director on nuclear weapon use and unjustly kept prisoners like Greiner. U.S. President Joe Biden has spoken on the matter recently also. Biden is determined to free her from captivity. He had been steadfast about a prisoner swap between the two nations. The swap would include Greiner, former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan, and Russian arms dealer and U.S. prisoner Viktor Bout. I thought all this had been settled here a while back. Or was that with other prisoners that they're keeping over there? I don't know. <clears throat> Those who have experienced penal colonies have shared their experiences on what's next to Griner. Uh, many of them are grim and horrifying to read. Well, I can imagine. So that's... Yeah, I thought uh, she had been released. And... Uh, they had traded that prisoner back over to uh, Russia. But I don't know. Well, bless their hearts and God bless, hopefully, President Trump that he will take his place in office again. But like I said in another video last night, I'll tell you what, these next two years scare me to death. 
you know, it kind of uh, gets me to thinking maybe President Trump shouldn't have said nothing about wanting to be back in the White House. Because now that everybody knows, and the public knows, the enemies knows, all countries knows that he's going to be running for president, it's scary for him, his family, Milena. I don't know. Maybe my mind is running wild. It could be, but I don't know. I got a funny feeling. But let's hope and pray for the best. All right. Now, uh, let's go down here. Um, now, when Trump was doing his speech, um, this kind of... Um, bothered him a little bit because the cameras uh, were so uh, swayy, you know, jumping from one, one place to another place to another place trying to keep him in focus and him trying to keep with the camera he was supposed to be with, with the red light, whatever, and um, he got a little disorientated and he said, I'm getting seasick. Well, I don't blame him. You know, um, during a campaign rally in, in, in my state, Iowa, former President Donald Trump griped about the stability of his teleprompters while his followers were busy criticizing President Joe Biden's use of the technology online. You know, um, you try to follow just them little red lights where you're supposed to look at the red light because that is the camera that you are going to be uh, what do I want to say? Whatever. Poked out at. <laughs> you know, visible. On. And if they keep jumping that red light all over the place. It does affect your mind. Your, your vision. Your eyes don't know which way to go. So I can understand. In Sioux City on Thursday night. Trump complained about the waving teleprompters, teleprompters while giving a speech amid a storm. Off script, the former president told the gathering at the rally that the movement of the gadgets was making him seasick. Well, it will, you know. <laughs> Bless his heart. He asked if people thought it was easy to be up there in the wind. He said, I have these idiotic teleprompters that are waving around. Well, the wind blowing at... Uh, 40 miles per hour, 30, 50, 40, whatever. And you can't keep track of that little red light. So, oh my. Trump continued to admitting that he occasionally chooses to give it up and talk without a teleprompter before saying that doesn't work well for Biden when he does the same. On social, social media, Trump backers criticized Biden for using teleprompters, with some implying that the former president did not use them while appearing on camera. The president used the teleprompters during his speech on political violence and threats to dem democracy on Wednesday night drew criticism from conservatives. Ted Cruz of Texas, a member of the GOP, tweeted on Wednesday, it's truly sad that Joe Biden couldn't get through his teleprompter address tonight without getting the day of the election wrong. See, they can throw your... Well, I can't think of what I want to say right now. Your focus off. You know, it, it's not good. But while ignoring that the former president likewise routinely utilizes, utilizes teleprompters, uh, Trump and his allies have frequently lambasted Biden for using them. Trump charged Biden with using teleprompters to respond to questions, press conferences in a September 21 interview with Greg Gutfield of Fox News calling it awful for our democracy. Well, each to their own, I guess. If you didn't have to use one, I wouldn't use one. Trump attacked former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential campaign for utilizing teleprompters, and he advocated for outlawing their use in elections. 
They aren't my style, Trump said. Others employ teleprompters. Perhaps using a teleprompter while running should be prohibited because you find out what you're getting. Yeah, you're getting confused and delirious and dizzy. <laughs> I don't know, that's just my take on it. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, my goodness. It can't be funny. It, it really isn't funny. I, I feel bad for those people. You know, I'm kind of glad my feet's right here on the ground in Iowa. I wouldn't want to be in the limelight like that in the public constantly and not knowing which way to look or or what to say or what words not to use or who to speak to, who not to speak to. You know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I'll be back. I got some lined up here. <laughs>